What's up guys, Spencer Harris here, and today I'm super, super excited to give you a tip with the iPhone that's just gonna up your photography game. I may have had just a little bit too much coffee, but roll that intro. <laughs> Okay, so today we're talking long exposure photography and I just want to go over a few basic principles of long exposure photography before we start getting into how to capture it on your phone. Yeah, I said it, on your phone. What's in your pocket, you can do it. You don't need a DSLR anymore. This is absolutely awesome and I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed at myself for not knowing how to do this before. Maybe two weeks ago is when I found out and it's blown my mind and I've had a lot of fun with it ever since. You've all seen it, whether or not you know it's long exposure photography or not, you've seen it and you've seen it in specifically with photos of waterfalls or streams or lakes where the water is very glossy, very smooth looking. Um, here's an example and that's what I'm talking about. It's, it's just this glossy, dreamy looking water that you get out of long exposure photography. Same thing with maybe you've seen city shots or cars or on a freeway or something like that and the lights seem to look like lasers or, or streams themselves. And, and it's just a really, really cool stylistic way of shooting photography that I personally love and it's a lot of fun shooting and the payoff for it is just, it's awesome. We're gonna talk about how to do that today with an iPhone. Long exposure is basically controlling your shutter speed and how slow it opens and closes to capture the frame that you wanted to capture. Very quick shutter speed is gonna basically freeze time and, and no motion blur or nothing like that if someone's jumping in the air you want to have a very, very high shutter speed. That way they're just kind of frozen in that moment. Well, if you go all the way at the other end of the spectrum and make that shutter speed extremely slow, let's say a fifth of a second or longer, your shutter basically opening that slow or even slower. And that's going to give you those long exposure shots that I'm talking about. Basically what it's doing is it's letting all of that light, light for a camera is information. The more that shutter is open, the more information it's taking in. Therefore, you're getting the very glossy, very smooth looking water, or you're getting those really cool streamlined lights if you're shooting at night. Those are sort of long exposure photography basics. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is you wanna keep your camera, no matter what you're shooting on, whether it's the iPhone or the DSLR that you have or own, you wanna keep the camera as still as possible. So you normally wanna use a tripod. Step number one, you're gonna have your phone charged and you're gonna have enough room to take a photo. You're gonna open up your photo app and make sure it's on photo mode, not portrait mode, not video mode, photo mode. Next thing is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the live photo option is highlighted in yellow. Step three is gonna to be to make sure that your phone is still and locked off into a position where it's not going to move. So whether that be on a tripod, leaned up against a rock, up against a tree, somewhere that it's not going to move, yet still capturing the frame that you want to capture. Tip number four is just gonna to be to make sure that what is in your frame and what you wanna capture is in focus. And you can do that by the little squares that are in the frame of the phone. Hold that down, lock your focus, and then you're gonna see a little sun right beside that. You can move that up to, to control the exposure or the light coming into the phone camera. And now the exciting stuff happens. So go ahead, once you're all set up, press that button, take the photo, and you're done. You're done. There's just one more step to do and, and you've gotten it. You can achieve these types of photos just by following those four steps. So let's get into the phone part, shall we? Open up your photo album, go to that photo that you just took, for me, I went out to a waterfall nearby and tested this out and my God, it is awesome. So here's that photo. It was taken in live. You can tell because it's gonna say live right up here. Okay. Now, you're just gonna hold that down, make sure it was a live photo. Click up and then you have these options right here. You're just gonna scroll over the long exposure it's gonna work for a second and then there you go. There you have it, a long exposure waterfall. Oh my God. I, did, I never knew that you could do this with a phone. It, it's blown my mind and I can tell you anytime I'm near water, I'm gonna be shooting this. I mean, it's just, what? How did I not know this? I mean, maybe you knew it. Maybe I'm way, 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 way behind on the curve on this one. I'm not sure, but I just found this out and I can't, I just, I had to share it. It's that easy guys, that's all you have to do. Long exposure photography on your iPhone. Just go out, just, 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 I don't even know. Just let me know if you knew about this, if you didn't know about this, 
I want to hear about it and I definitely want to see your photos. So link your Instagrams below. I'll check them out. I'll follow you. This is just, it's awesome. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And that's it. It's, it's that easy. It's, it's just four steps and you've got amazing photos for your Instagram feed, whatever you want. It's just my gift to you. Like I said, maybe I'm just completely behind on this, but I've spoken to a few people that were just like, what, 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 what? And there you have it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if this helped you at all. I would love to see your photos. And uh, that's going to be it this week, guys. And the creator I want to highlight this week is a guy named Cody Warner. And he has just been such an inspiration to me and to a lot of people that I know. And his channel is just absolutely insane. He's doing great, great, great things for the creator community. And he's got a movement called No Small Creator. And uh, if you look up hashtag no small creator, you'll find a lot of content from people who create on the daily, on the weekly, on the monthly. But anyway, anyone who creates anything from nothing, Cody has got so much information for you, so much value, and I'd love for you to check out his channel. And, uh, and there we go. We'll see you on the next one.